Hi, this video tutorial I will cover generics in Java. Here I have defined the class non generic demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have defined array list and I have not used generics. So, in array list, we can add any objects. We can add a string object, integer object, double object, any object we can add. And to get string object from array list, we have to typecast it. In 0th position, the string Peter is there. So, I am typecasting to string. And in first index position, integer object 10 is there. So, I am typecasting to integer. I am running this program and here you can see the output and this is the example of uh, non-generic like we have seen in the example before generics we can store any type of objects in collection that is called uh, non-generic and uh, before generics we need to typecast here we are typecasting in JDK 5 Java generics programming is introduced. Here I have defined the class uh, generic demo. It has main method. Inside main method, I have defined array list. And uh, here I have specified uh, in array list, I can store only string object. So here I am using uh, generic. And uh, in array list, uh, I am adding uh, two strings, Peter and Ram. Then I am displaying the array list. And from array list, I am getting the 0th index position string object. And once I get that, uh, I am displaying that. And if we use uh, generics, we no need to typecast it. I am running this program. Here you can see the output. And one more important point is. Here I have specified uh, using generics only I can store string object in array list and uh, other than string object we cannot store like uh, integer object or double object I cannot store in this array list because I have specified in this array list only we have to store uh, string object. Like we have seen in the example we can hold only single type of objects in generics and uh, it does not allow to store other objects and uh, typecasting is not required in case of uh, generics instead of uh, string object if i try to add uh, integer object then it will throw compile time error so if we use uh, generics compile time checking will be done automatically here you can see the syntax to use uh, generic collection class inside less than greater than symbol type and here you can see the example class is array list and type is string interface inside less than greater than symbol type and here you can see the example interface is set and type is integer and this is about generics in java and thanks for watching